This delicious pie is a great way to use up leftover turkey and gammon. I've started by warming a large pan. I'm going to add a couple of cubes of butter. And now for my turkey, I've cut it into quite large pieces and I've got some lovely cubes of gammon. In they go. And turn the heat up a little bit. I'm going to warm these through. Now I'm going to add some leeks. They've been quite thickly sliced. Just going to soften them down a little. And then pop the lid on and we're just going to create a little bit of steam. Just needs a couple of minutes. So my leeks have softened off a little. I'm going to add some flour now just to thicken the mixture. We need to cook it just for a minute or so just to make sure we get rid of any floweriness. And now I've got some chicken stock. I'm going to pour that in. And I'm going to bring that to a simmer. Again, using your spoon just to get any lovely tasty bits from the bottom. And then once that's come to the simmer, we're going to cook it for four to six minutes until it's thickened. And turn off the heat and leave it to cool completely. So my filling is now cool and I'm going to finish it off with a carton of creme fraiche. I've got some whole grain mustard, which is going to be lovely with both the turkey and the gammon. Half teaspoonfuls of that. I've got some cooked sprouts that have been sliced and some chopped fresh tarragon. It's going to be delicious. And just give this a stir together. And I'm going to transfer it to a pie dish. And just try and spread it out fairly evenly. I'm going to be topping this with just some ready-made puff pastry, so just a little sprinkle of flour, and roll it out quite thinly until it's large enough to cover the pie dish. And then just grab a pastry brush, dip that into the beaten egg, and just run it along the rim. And for the full recipe for this dish, you can just click on the link below. And then just roll your pastry onto your pin, just bring it a bit closer, Lay it over the surface. Just press it down a bit to seal. If you want to, you can just bring in any excess pastry because it will shrink a little bit as it bakes. So just ease it in a bit. And I'm going to trim off the excess. Hold the knife vertically but sloping inwards towards the tin as you cut towards you. You might find it easier to rotate the dish as you go. And then press the edges down and you can just crimp them. You might want to just put some flour on your fingertips and then just crimp the edges. And we're just going to brush the surface of the pastry with a bit more egg. And then just score a couple of deep slashes all the way through the pastry to let the steam escape. And this needs to go into a hot oven now for about five minutes. Then turn the heat down and cook for a further half an hour or so until it's golden brown and piping hot throughout. Doesn't that look gorgeous and what a great way to use up your leftovers. For more fabulous recipes, don't forget to click to subscribe.